Now here's something that just came out of nowhere. I was not expecting a Help Wanted 2, but this commercial came out a few days ago suggesting that we are going to be getting a Five Nights at Freddy's Help Wanted 2, and it looks like it could potentially be a prequel or sequel to the events of Sister Location, and the glamour shot of this commercial is Ballora jump-scaring the player. So this is obviously a scene that's going to play out in the game, whether Ballora is going to come into this elevator with us and attack us. That looks like it'd be a really cool thing to happen within the game itself, but it's probably just to show off that Ballora is in fact in this game, whether she's a main antagonist in the game or just one of many antagonists that we'll encounter throughout the game. This is rather exciting. Back when the first Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach game came out, Ballora was one of the most visually unsettling animatronics to me. Because, well, Five Nights at Freddy's does do horror really well with their animatronic characters, most of the animatronics are animals. There's something just unsettling about the human characters. Something very doll-like and very paranormal. It just puts a chill on my spine. Something I can't really explain. Ballora's sharp endoskeleton teeth and her closed eyes. You can't see her eyes unless they're open during her jump scare. It's just something very scary about that. It just implies that there's something more sinister lying beneath, which I think is really cool because that's pretty much what Five Nights at Freddy's does in every game. You have these brightly colored characters, but they're possessed or they're malfunctioning robots or what have you. To make things even scarier in regards to Ballora as a character, the fact that we later find out she crawls around her room like a spider, which is rather, when you think about it, kind of cool. Because while Ballora is a ballerina, she's obviously a ballerina-inspired animatronic, and we see her dancing very gracefully. But it could also be that Ballora was potentially designed to also have some kind of contortionist act, which would explain why she walks like that. But it's still unnerving to think about and to visually see. Now, when it comes to Help Wanted 2, we don't really know a lot. We know that we're going to be at the sister location, Circus Baby's Pizza World. We're going to be in the elevator. We hear the phone guy talking to us. And then at the end, we're jump scared by Ballora. But that's about it. We don't know which Circus Baby's Pizza World this is. If this is the original location, they've just rebuilt and created some new animatronics and brought back some classics. We don't know if this is a completely different location. Again, we do not know. Circus Baby's Pizza World and Ballora are the only confirmed things we have for this game, as this is just a teaser trailer. But let me know if you guys are excited for Help Wanted 2 and the potential of seeing our favorite sister location animatronics. And with that, do take care, have a great night, and I'll see you in the next video.